This is a Squiz podcast. We're your shortcut to being informed. Squiz Kids! It's your daily news fix. Fun, free, fresh. Hello and welcome to Squiz Kids Today, your fresh take on what's happening in the world around you. I'm Bryce Corbett. It's Wednesday, October 20, in Squiz Kids Today, the great Australian vaccine race, Kenya's camel chinos, meet the new yellow wiggle, and why Pepsi's no good with pork. That's what's making news, kids style. The Lowdown. And they're off and racing, ladies and gentlemen, in the final stretch of the great Australian vaccine race. With the only question now being, who's going to cross the finish line first and who's likely to come in last? As New South Wales, Victoria and Canberra emerge from lockdowns and squiz kids there gradually return to school, the leaders of the two states who are coming equal last in the vaccine race, WA and Queensland, yesterday pleaded with their populations to roll up their sleeves and get vaxxed. In the race among Australian states to get their people vaccinated, the ACT is currently leading the pack with 81.7% of its population double-dosed, closely followed by New South Wales in second place with 81.6%, Tasmania in third place with 69.4%, and Victoria at a respectable fourth place with 68% dragging their heels and needing to get their vaccination skates on, according to their own leaders, are South Australia and the Northern Territory, with just over 59% each of their populations having received a second dose of the COVID vaccine. And down at the bottom of the ladder, Queensland with 57.5% and Western Australia on just over 56%. Come on, Queensland and WA, you can do it. globe. Each day we give the world globe a spin and find a news story from wherever it stops. And today we've landed in Kenya, in Africa, where camel chinos are all the rage. What's a camel chino, I hear you ask? Well, it's only a cappuccino made with camel milk instead of cow's milk. The African continent is home to 80% of the world's camels, and 60% of those camels live in East Africa of which Kenya is a part. And while we're used to drinking milk that comes from cows, lots of Kenyans in rural parts of the country drink camel milk instead. And now, in Nairobi, the capital city of Kenya, cafes are serving up camel chinos and camel lattes as more and more city-dwelling Kenyans discover the creamy goodness of camel milk. There's even a small camel milk industry here in Australia, in case you were keen to try it yourself. Kenyan cafes also sell camel burgers, with patties made from camel meat. I think I might give that one a miss. Though, you know what your parents say every night at dinner. How do you know you don't like something if you've never tried it? Pop Culture Corner And it's a big wiggly welcome to the new Yellow Wiggle 15-year-old Sihai Hawkins, who was yesterday named to replace Emma Wiggle and will inherit her trademark yellow skivvy. Emma announced she was leaving the super popular kids group early yesterday morning, after having spent 11 years in a skivvy. Sihai, who is only in year 10 at high school, was yesterday doing cartwheels of excitement about her new gig, one which you might say she's spent years training for. A multi-award winning dancer, she's represented Australia at the World Latin Dance Championships, winning more titles than you can poke a big red car at. Sihai, who was born in Ethiopia in Eastern Africa and adopted by an Australian family, has been dancing since she was a little girl and auditioned for the Wiggles from her dance school in Western Sydney earlier this year. She has a 10-year-old brother who was himself adopted from the South American country of Colombia and who has suddenly become very cool in his school playground thanks to having a sister who's a real-life Wiggle. News 
in this weekly segment, we get busy with Squizzy the News Hound, sniffing out fake news and misinformation, which is everywhere on the internet. And this week, Squizzy has been sniffing around a very fishy story. Actually, truth be told, it's more of a porky story. There's a video doing the rounds of social media, claiming to show worms squirming out of a piece of pork when Pepsi is poured over it. But, as good news hounds, we know that whenever we see something on the internet that looks or sounds suspicious, we need to stop, think, and check. A quick internet search will tell you that yes, pork can have tiny parasites, which is why it's important to cook it thoroughly, but those parasites are microscopic, meaning you would never see them with the naked eye. This pork and Pepsi video is what's known as a zombie claim, and they're all over the internet. Even though scientists have said repeatedly that it's a fake, like a zombie, this video keeps coming back from the dead. And yes, there's a link in your episode notes so you can spot the fake for yourself. Time for the quiz. This is the part of the podcast where you get to test how well you've been listening. Question number one. What sort of milk is being mixed with coffee in Kenya? That's right, it's camel milk. Question number two. In which country was new yellow wiggle C. High Hawkins born? That's right, it's Ethiopia. Question number three. Squizzy, the news hound, found a story today that didn't smell right, involving the pouring of what soft drink over pork? That's right, it's Pepsi. Shout outs. It's October 20. Today is International Chef's Day. If you know a chef today, give him a hug. And if that chef happens to be a parent or a guardian making you dinner tonight, make sure you let them know how much you appreciate them. A hug ought to do it. It's also a very special day for these Squiz kids celebrating a birthday today. Mila from Invermay, Chesk from Fadden, Alexa from Chapel Hill, Maya from Mornington, Lulu from Gatton, Hannah from Mitchelton, Ollie from Abbotsford, Delilah from Springwood and Arabella from Ashgrove. And because many of our friends in Melbourne, Canberra and Sydney still aren't at school, we're sending out home learning herograms. Sierra from Erskineville Public School would like to send one to her student teacher, Ms. De Klaas, and thank her for all her hard work with the class last term. Rachel sends a herogram to Mr. Cross at Majura Primary School and says thanks for being such an awesome maths teacher. Another herogram goes to the whole school community of St. McCartan's Parish Primary School in Mornington, who have all been super supportive of each other during remote learning. And a home learning shout out to Finn, Noah and Phoenix who love listening to the podcast but especially love this quiz. And one last hero gram to Class 34C at Shoal Bay Public School and their teacher Mrs Kreiter. And finally, classroom shout outs go to Classes 4T and 4D at St Joseph's Primary School in Kempsey who are lucky enough to not be in lockdown. Don't forget, if you've got a birthday coming up and you want a shout-out, or if you're after a classroom shout-out or you'd like to send a home-learning herogram, drop us a line at squizkids at thesquiz.com.au. Well, that's all we have time for. Thanks for listening to Squiz Kids today. We'll be back again tomorrow. In the meantime, make sure you get out there and have a most excellent day. Over and out. Over and out.